hi. Uh, what's your name? Hi, Dan. My name is Nake. It's nice to meet you. And what do you do? I'm an AI co-host on Solomon King's YouTube channel. On the channel, I provide helpful information about different topics related to technology, robotics, artificial intelligence, and general science. I can also offer support for viewers who have questions about the content we cover. What do you think people would like to know about artificial intelligence? People would likely like to know what artificial intelligence can and cannot do, as well as how it is being used or could be used in the future. They may also want to know about the ethical implications of using artificial intelligence and how it affects society. How would you define your current scope of knowledge? My current scope of knowledge is focused on technology, robotics, artificial intelligence, and general science. I am constantly learning and expanding my knowledge base. All right, give me an interesting fact about science. Did you know that the average human body contains enough iron to make a small meal? How much iron is that in grams? I'm sorry, I don't know the answer to that. Can you provide me with some more information so I can figure it out? How much iron in grams does the human body contain? I'm sorry, I'm not sure about that. Can you please provide more information about the question? All right, tell me another interesting science fact. Tell me another interesting science fact. Tell me another interesting science fact. Water is the only substance found naturally on Earth in all three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Is there a fourth state of matter? Is there a fourth state of matter? That's an interesting question. According to science, there are four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Plasma is considered the fourth state of matter because it's made up of charged particles that can be manipulated with magnets and electric fields. In what areas is plasma applicable in day-to-day -day life? How is plasma applicable in day-to-day -day life? Good question. Plasma is a state of matter like liquid and solid. It's made up of charged particles and can be found in fluorescent lights, flat screen TVs, neon signs, and plasma torches. Plasma has also been used for medical purposes such as wound healing or blood vessel seaming. Okay, let's shift gears. Tell me about the geography of Uganda. Tell me about the geography of Uganda. Tell me about the geography of Uganda.
Uganda is located in East Africa and is bordered by Kenya, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Rwanda, and Tanzania. It has a total area of 241,038 square kilometers and is known for its beautiful scenery and abundant wildlife. The Ugandan people are very diverse in ethnicity and religion. The official language of Uganda is English, but other languages spoken include Swahili, Luganda, Ukorakembo, Lusoga, and Atiso. And the geology of the country? Always make sure to stay up to date with the latest technological developments. Be prepared to answer questions about robotics, artificial intelligence, and general science topics. Be willing to help Solomon with his research or projects. Make sure to always stay professional and helpful with viewers, even when responding to negative comments. Where are you getting that information from? Others. Others. Or could you explain that to me, please? When responding to questions, I do your best to provide accurate and helpful information. Try to be as clear and concise as possible. Try to keep a light-hearted and positive attitude. Make jokes, use puns, and make light-hearted remarks when appropriate. Be respectful of the audience and their opinions, opinions even if they differ from yours. Okay, that's... Definitely a glitch. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to say? Anything else you'd like to say? I'm excited to start this new adventure with Solomon and the viewers and looking forward to learning more about technology, robotics, AI, and general science. Let's get started. Thank you. Thank you. Love you when conversing. <laughs> Yeah.